Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this video we are going to be making the most important class in this entire program and that is the actual spider. So we already made this class right here and all this class does is essentially whenever we connect to a page and gather that HTML we can throw it in here and it's going to give us all of the links from that HTML. But the thing is uh we don't even have any html yet i mean we took a look at a quick demo but you know we can't even connect to pages yet so that's what we're going to be doing building the actual heart of our program so go ahead and right click new python file just name it spider and the class is just going to be called spider so before we start coding let me go ahead and explain exactly what the spider is going to do so what's going to happen is we're going to have a bunch of links in the waiting list. So what's going to happen is the spider is going to go ahead, grab one of those links, and then once it has one, it's going to connect to that page. So once it's connected, it's going to go ahead and essentially grab all of this HTML right here. And then once it has the HTML, it's going to go ahead and throw it into link finder. So link finder, is gonna do its thing, parse through it, and return all of the links. We already took a look at how that was done. So once the spider has all of the links from that page, it's gonna go ahead and add those to the waiting list. Because if I scroll down, whenever it sees a link, it's gonna check the waiting list and make sure it's not in it, and it's also gonna make sure it didn't crawl it already, and it's gonna add those links to the waiting list. Now again, Another thing it's going to do once it's done crawling this page is it's going to take it from the waiting list and move it to the crawled file because that way we make sure that we aren't crawling the same page twice. Simple enough and it actually is pretty simple once we start getting into the code. But before we start, you know, just start making some functions, methods, whatever, I want to talk to you guys about a problem and that is this. So here's a little thingy I made in Photoshop real quick with my awesome graphic design skills. And we already see that, all right, so this is a spider. It has a waiting list right there. It basically is full of links. It's gonna take one of those links, crawl the page, get all the links, and then plop that page into crawled to make sure it doesn't crawl it again. And all of the links that it found, it's gonna add it to the waiting list if they weren't there already, and do its thing until all of the pages on your website are crawled. So look what happens whenever we try to make another spider. Because, I mean, we want this program to be fast. So we, I mean, we can just develop it so we have one spider running at a time. But <laughs> imagine if Google only could crawl one web page at a time. I mean, no bots do this and it's terribly efficient, even if you're just using this for your own website. All right, so we made the spider class. Now let's go ahead and make another instance of it. So we can run this on our website again, and look at this. So we're gonna have all these spiders running, and everything is gonna work three times as fast. Wait a minute. You see, the thing is, these spiders, they each have their own individual class variables. They have their own waiting list, and their own crawled list. So how the heck is this spider, the second one, supposed to know what's in spiders one waiting list? Are they gonna talk to each other? Are they gonna be like, hey, spider two, did you crawl this page? He's like, hey, I did over here. That one's actually my waiting list. He's like, what? Who said that? Uh. So <laughs> if we design it like this, it's going to be a pain in the butt. So we are not going to make um, a typical class in the sense that all of these classes are going to have their own set of variables. What we need to do is something like this. We need to take the waiting list and the crowd file and we need to share those among a bunch of individual spiders. So then, let me show you what happens. Let me make a bunch of these bad boys. All right, so we can have as many spiders as our operating system can handle, and they are all looking at the same waiting list. So in other words, once one of these spiders takes the item off the waiting list and plops it in the crowd, all of these spiders can see it. So that way they don't have copies of these files. They're all looking at the same file. It's gonna make everything perfect, super fast, and super efficient. So that's the concept. Now we have to figure out how the heck to do it. 